hi guys welcome back welcome back to my channel as you all should know you better know that your girl's name is malango nauluta if you didn't know honey now you know So, getting into this video now, before we get into this video, I'd like you guys to hit the subscribe button, press the like button, press the post notification button, that's the bell button, close to the subscribe button so that you're notified each and every time I post. So, getting into this video now, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be telling you, giving you tips that will change your freaking life, sis. That will change your life, okay, when it comes to feminine hygiene and whatever. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to talk about is something that I've been emphasizing for the longest. If you guys watch my feminine hygiene video, the recent one, you will know. You will know, okay, so. The first thing that I'm going to talk about is the use of soap. I know there are probably people that don't use soap, but there are probably people that can't stop using soap. Not that we just think maybe they'll just be smelling terrible and whatever. It's it's a getting used process. I used to use soap. Okay, I used to use soap, but eventually I stopped and I got used. Now I just use water. I'm not even going to. First of all, I'm not even going to give you guys tips that I don't even use. So that's just that. Yeah, so I just use plain water. The water should be warm, it shouldn't be too hot as well. Other people prefer cold water, but uh, no, I'm going to use warm water. So just use warm water alone, no soap. The second thing that I'm going to talk about, I've written them on my phone, so I'm going to be reading from there, is shaving bald. Let me tell you guys something, something that probably you didn't know, but is actually very helpful. So just like you have hair in your nose, you have hair in your ears, you have hair, ear. <laughs> You have hair on your eyes, any opening, you mostly have hair. That's the way you have hair down there as well. It's actually very important. It's very important for you to not shave bald, sh shave everything. Because sometimes, let's just be honest, girls. Let's just be honest. Sometimes we don't even iron our underwear. Or it's not like... For some of us, like for me, I don't hang it on the window because there's so many people that pass and whatever, and I don't want them to be seeing my underwear. Like, yes, <laughs> especially on that day where you're just not wearing the cutest underwear, then you hang it by the window. Who wants to see that? No one, boo. So I hang it in my room, and sometimes your underwear accumulates bacteria. Okay. That's just because it's not in the sun, it's not been hung in the sun or it hasn't been ironed. It accumulates bacteria. Now, if you're bald down there and you wear your underwear, this is not to say that you should keep it like a whole bush or like a forest. No, that's not what I'm saying. Keep it nicely trimmed, honey. Keep it nicely trimmed. And then this this you guys changed my life for like i was even shocked you know how when you're on your monthly towards the end you start to smell a bit foul because you've been on your it's like how can i explain it like meat that's been that has blood for some time it starts smelling after some time you know and that's our situation so we have to let ourselves breathe at some point so for me what i would do right now i don't do that because this always is gonna be hella weird 
<laughs> yeah but sleep without underwear even walk without underwear if it's a day where you're at home now get me clearly when you're at home don't go out there walking without underwear that's disgusting honey make sure that you are at home okay you're at home then you can wear you can go without underwear for at least a day or two okay it's important it's really important because you need to breathe and that's why most people emphasize on cotton underwear because cotton has those holes okay it naturally has like you know holes that are ever 100 percent cotton that's why they really emphasize on such underwear so that you breathe okay you breathe so that's another tip that i'm giving you trust me you get back to me and tell me that it really did change your life sleep without underwear especially after your period and then don't always wear panty liners or and whatever but that like i said in the previous point you need to breathe so wearing panty liner sometimes just wear your underwear just like that you don't have to wear panty liners all the time that's for people that wear panty liners and whatnot yeah. so the next one is to reduce shaving bumps this has helped me i'm not going to say that it takes all the shaving bumps away but like it reduces it from starting from the time that i started with this i realized that my shaving bumps have reduced and even in grown hairs reduced okay so the first thing that we're going to talk about when it comes to this is shave in one direction and the direction you're going to be shaving is the direction the hair falls okay because if you are doing this and the hair is going this direction we are going to hurt yourself so you have to shave in the direction your hair is going that's how you do it even under your armpits you thank me later that's just it yeah and then as you shave make sure to pull your skin it should be tight so that you shave properly if you just shave just like that the skin is going to be going like this and you'll be hurting yourself and it's just not going to be right so make sure to pull the skin as you shave that's that goes for everything your armpits your everything like goes for everything that can also actually help guys like those guys that shave their beard and whatever it helps then i think this is going to be my last point if you guys want other ways to help with reducing shaving bumps another thing i can talk about maybe is making your skin wet like how can i explain it i know that sounds really disgusting but like making like put water don't shave just like that like you haven't bath you haven't watched you just that like you're going to hurt yourself so you have to always make sure you're in the shower you wet yourself like you know you put some water other people use conditioner i'm not really a fan of using conditioner because i don't want to mess up my ph balance no honey I'm, no i don't play with my ph balance like that and i don't play with my friend down there like that okay so i don't use conditioner other people do use it but i don't so i just use water water and then ask me you come back and tell me that it helped you and then drink a lot of water guys this is something even reminds me that today i haven't drunk water but drink a lot of water it helps with everything it helps with order it helps with skin it helps with hair it helps with so many things like water is the solution to practically everything even your order down there like it actually helps if you drink a lot of water okay so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and learned one or two things if you want me to do a part two of this feminine hygiene video then go ahead and comment in the comment section I almost like boo. go ahead and comment in the comment section saying that you want a part two i can figure out some things i can 
experiment for you guys just to see okay and also if you do have other tips help your girls out in the comments okay help them out so comment down in the comment section whether it what helps you what you do what you know all those things so yeah i hope you guys like this video don't forget to subscribe honey hunty don't forget to subscribe don't forget to turn on your post notifications at the bell button close to the subscribe close to the subscribe button so that you're notified each and every time i post also don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you know it helped you if you learned one thing at least boo one thing at least make sure you hit that like button and also um yeah don't forget to be at peace with everyone love everyone and be joyful bye guys